When we're able to drink fresh water and keep ourselves and our environment clean, we can live happy, healthy lives. But not everyone can turn on a faucet or flush a toilet. And without clean water, sometimes people can get sick. But there are lots of things we can do to help. Using our voices to call for change is a great way to start. That's what 10-year-old Mari Copany did, a.k.a. Little Miss Flint. Marie comes from Flint, Michigan, where drinking water is contaminated by lead, a chemical that can make us really sick. Marie used her voice to call for a change, writing a letter to President Barack Obama to ask for his help in making Flint's water safe to drink. But Marie didn't stop there. She organized toy drives for children who got affected by the disaster and continued to call for change on social media using Twitter and Facebook to spread the word and raise awareness of the problem. How could you use your voice to ensure that everyone has access to clean drinking water? Thinking about ways to reduce waste is also something we can do. That's what 14-year-old Lalita Sirsai from India did. Always a curious child, Lalita enjoyed walking around the countryside, learning about different people and different things. But everywhere she went, she came across piles of discarded corn cobs rotting on the side of the road. She had an idea to reduce that waste and make water safe to drink at the same time. By reusing the corn cobs as part of a new type of water filter system that could catch up the dirt and germs in gray water, Lalita is making the Indian countryside cleaner and providing clean water to those who need it. There's no one solution that can reach the goal of clean water and sanitation on its own, but there is something that each of us can do to make the world a better place. What action can you take right now?